having troubles with not getting proper RTK correction? Then stay with me in this video and we'll go through the troubleshooting process. If you followed our fundamental RTK video, then we first need to check both RF modems. You should see TD light blinking on the base station saddle modem and RD light blinking on the rover modem. If lights are not blinking at all, we should check modem settings. Both modems should have the same settings. Let's check the frequency first. Both frequencies need to be the same. Now, see the channel spacing. We always set those on 25 on both modems. At the end, check the baud rate on port 1 on both devices. Baud rate should be the same. Also, DSi Mu2 baud rate should be set on the same number. If all those settings on saddle modems are the same and there's still no RTK, we should move to the base station settings. First, it is important to read the position and then set the base station as a base station Devasoft and then also confirm its position with a click on Set Base Position button. When reading the base station position, you will see how many satellites the base station is using. There should be more than 10 satellites available. If the number of satellites is zero, check if the antenna type is set as external. If the number of satellites is lower than 10, wait for a minute or two and try again. If this is not helping either, move antenna to a position with more open sky. After setting the base station position, it is necessary to confirm and exit Devasoft settings with OK button. Below in the description of this video, there is also a link where you can download our RTK manual setup. If you have done everything as we have shown you and there is still no RTK correction, we can check as well the rover settings. For the rover, we used a DSiMU2 device. Just connect the DSiMU device to a PC and then as well in Devasoft software settings. As the device is connected, we should exit settings with OK. Now enter the IMU module, click on Configuration tab and check if the Activate RTK option is enabled. If it is, you should see the baud rate settings being enabled as well. Make sure that you have set the same baud rate as you have it on your base station and on your RF modems. In our case, this was 38,400. Also, check the number of satellites you receive on the rover device as well. You should have more than 10 satellites in use. If you don't have enough satellites, make sure you are not somewhere between buildings and you have a clear view of the sky. We recommend waiting from 5 to 10 minutes to receive enough satellites. RTK float status, for example, is a good indicator that there are not enough satellites available, so reconsider moving your base station somewhere else. That's it! By now, you should already have your RTK correction on your rover device. If you still have any troubles, just contact our support team on support.devesoft.com.